Good morning and welcome to episode 400 of the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Brown. I am your host, as always, Christopher Brown, and I can't believe we are here where we are right now. 400 episodes later, 400 episodes as of June 29th, actually June 30th, if I can do my math here correctly, so I do apologize. 400 episodes. Um... I want to first start off by saying thank you so much for everyone who has tuned in for the last 400 amazing interviews, 400 amazing discussions, 400 amazing uh, specials that we've had. Uh, The show could not have happened without people like yourself, people who are listening to this right now as we speak. And people who came in, sat down, and talked to us for 400 episodes. Now, usually at this time, we would take a break during the summer months, and we would come back in usually September or August, and start back up with some brand new episodes. But we're going to do something a little bit different this year and heading forward. And that 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 is to the crux of what this episode is going to be about. So if you tuned in uh, preparing to listen to an interview with me and a guest, I, I, I'm sorry. It's not going to be one of those episodes. You're going to have to sit through and listen to me chat for about 15, 20 minutes. This is going to be a shorter episode than normal, but it's still going to be an episode no, no matter what. So I... I I've I've been pondering the question for the last few weeks as we were heading into June, as we were heading up to our 400th episode, and I was trying to figure out what's next. What is next in the grand scheme of this show? Whether it be more interviews, whether it be just leaving, or whether it just be more specials because people seem to flock to those. So I kept on hitting this back and forth, hitting this back and forth over the last few weeks. And I I sat down and I wrote some things out, trying to figure out what I wanted the show to to continue to be. And there's a few things that I wanted to talk about today, and that's what we'll be doing here in a few minutes. But I, I wanted to start off by talking about me for a second. So as you, as many of you may know, um, I have been struggling with uh, a tumor on my occipital lobe, which is causing some issues, and I have stopped treatments. So I am not going through for the treatments that I have been normally going through, and it is causing somewhat of a issue with my uh, mental uh, mental capacity and my physical capacity to continue trying to do these shows on a five day basis. So when I stopped uh, my treatments earlier this year, I, I, I went down from five days a week to just three weeks a month. So I still took that week, extra week off. And moving forward, I'm hoping to continue to bring great shows to you. Now, I can't tell you what life is going to be like in a month or two months or a week or a, two days from now. But I can tell you I have been enjoying these shows And whether it just be me listening to my own self talk or me listening to other people uh, answer the questions that I've posed to them, I, I have thoroughly enjoyed the last three years of doing this. And I still want to continue that. So until I have no physical strength or no mental capacity to continue these shows you're still gonna get me so i i want to leave that off the start off the start with that off the bat i have never would i have imagined i should say that never would i have imagined that Four years ago or three years ago when I started the show, we would be at 400 episodes. I thought 50, 60, and I've said this in the past, we would be at the place where we are now, maybe 100 episodes in, but never 400 episodes. And I... The... The support, the love that you have given the show over the last 
400 episodes has been overwhelming. And when I was first diagnosed with cancer, I did not think for one moment I would be able to continue this show. But this show has been my lifeline. This has been a lifeline for me. This has been a lifeline for my husband to get me out of the house and get me into my studio. So I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for tuning in and I thank you for being along for the ride. I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to continue doing these shows, but they're going to be a little different. Um... Sometimes we would pump out content just to have content, and sometimes we would pump out content just because it was great content. And I want to do the latter. I want to do the latter going forward. I want to do great content for the sake of great content. Now, that means not every week I'm going to have five episodes. Not every day I'm going to be able to bring you great new content because I want to put out the best content and not just the content because it's there. So moving forward, as of July 1st, so as of tomorrow, which we are not having an episode because it's Canada Day and we want to uh, do an amazing uh uh, show, not a show, but an amazing uh, acknowledgement to our First Nations community who um, we have so sorely mistreated, but also we want to celebrate Canada Day as well. So we, we will be somber, we'll be reflective, but we will be celebrating the great things of Canada and remembering the shitty things that Canada has done to its people. So this is where we are going to be tomorrow. So if you're looking, tuning in for July 1st, please note I'm not going to be here. We are not going to be on air. So I apologize. But saying that, I actually should say we will be live. That's right, live at 3 o'clock with UCP candidate Rebecca Schultz. And we, her and I will be sitting down at 3 o'clock on July 1st to talk about the her bid for the leadership of the United Conservative Party and ultimately the next premier of Alberta. So please tune in live via YouTube. The links are in the show notes and we look forward to sitting down with Rebecca and this will be our second interview uh, in the UCP series. So head over to YouTube, follow along because we are enjoying these live episodes. We are enjoying bringing them live and it helps us grow our community and grow our followers. So Please tune into that because it is one of the things that I have been enjoying a little bit newer to the show. We started back in May and I, I'm enjoying doing them because I love the thrill of live because you can't screw up. Well, and we try to do them live to air for recordings, but live is live. No ifs, ands, or buts. If I screw up a question, I screw up an answer, I screw up a wording, it's live and that's how it is. So I, I, I'm truly looking forward to uh, bringing you more live episodes. And in the summer, most of our episodes, and I say this with all due respect, all most of our episodes will be live. We will be live. So it'll be live via YouTube and then a week later. So that's right, a week later. So if we record on a Wednesday, the following week, the episode will drop in the podcast channels, whether that be Spotify, uh, Apple Podcast. Uh, Google Play, Stitcher, so on and so forth. The audio version of the shows will be released a week later. So please, if you haven't, uh, subscribe to anywhere you get your pot favorite podcast because it helps our, the algorithms and you know how that's all crazy right now. And it helps us grow the show. And that's what the ultimate goal of this show has been is to grow the show to be a, a player on the stage so please tune in for live episodes and please subscribe because it does help us one of the new segments that we have been toying with during may and june is our point of order segment which is a weekly rundown of the three biggest news stories politically federally provincially and municipally 
with Sarah Biggs, our amazing co-host of Point of Order. She has graciously uh, accepted the role to continue on in that position over the next few weeks, next few months. Uh, she has been in the process of running a leadership campaign. So we aren't talking about the UCP leadership, but we are talking about issues that are important to you so we are looking forward to that every wednesday at 7 45 p.m uh, every week as much as we can every wednesday we will be bringing you live episodes of that as well one of the newest segments that's going to be launching on july 4th which will be promoted here as of to, uh, today and tomorrow is our due west uh, segment now this segment came about after I had the pleasure of sitting down with uh, the gentleman by the name of Dan Olson in from Manitoba, uh, Canada. And we talked about Western issues and we talked about it from a, a Westerner's perspective, whether that be people who are pissed off about more autonomy for the West, whether that be... Uh, any issue under the belt that affects Western Canadians. And we are going to try doing that bi-monthly. So every two, every second Monday, we will be live on YouTube at 8 o'clock. Uh, sorry, at 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Talking about Western issues with our great friend Dan Olson for the next foreseeable future. And we're going to try it out for the few, first two months. So July and August, every two weeks, starting July 4th, we will be live on Monday. So please tune into that because I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm looking forward to growing the show and expanding the show a little bit to talk about the issues that are important to you. So we, we would love feedback. We would love comments. We would love topics that you would want to talk about. And in that segment, we are going to have on Western Canadians to talk about Western Canadian issues. So Dan and I are not going to just be by ourselves. We're going to have other people on the show and we're going to be talking about Western issues. So with the guests, with politicians, with candidates to be politicians. So please tune into that because I, I honestly am looking forward to that new segment of the show. So Monday will be our Due West segment, which is already live on YouTube. So please go in and check it out because you will not want to miss it. Then uh, on Tuesday, we'll probably release the following week's live episode. And then Wednesday, our point of order. So you might be thinking to yourself, Chris, that's a lot of already. That's already a lot of episodes that you're going to be putting together. I know. And I'm looking forward to it because I, 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 I relish the ability to put out these shows. And I think these are great contents that we have and we want to put out. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, our next uh, new sort of thing that we're going to be toying around with uh, moving forward. And this is the big one. This is the one that I'm really looking forward to. Um, we have, we have been given so much opportunity over the last uh, 400 episodes People have supported us financially. People have given back to us. We, 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 we played around with the ideas earlier in February and March with uh, live shows where we raised money for financial organizations or for nonprofit organizations. And we're going to bring them back. Uh, we did raise over about $600 for the two organizations, Vivo and the Women's Center of Calgary and area. And I want to bring them back. We continue to have so much goodwill towards people and people seem to be supporting us. But we want to continue to give back as well. So over the next few months, we'll be doing some live shows, some exclusive live shows to our Patreon supporters, to our supporters who have donated to the show. Because we want to we want to engage our community. We want to engage the cross-border community because... You guys have helped us along the way, so we want to help our community along the way. So I'm looking forward to bringing more live episodes that are exclusive, which will be released, but not till a month later. So check those out in September and October. We're going to try and bring in a few guests to help us out. So please, 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 please join us. And tickets will always be available on Eventbrite. Um, the last area I want 
to talk about. I... I said it earlier in the episode, but I want to I want to reiterate it a little bit here. I I don't know my future. I don't know what the future holds for me. My motor functions have been slowly declining. My my motor functions have been slowly declining and my cognitive abilities has been slowly going away. Now, I, I, I want this to be my lasting legacy on this show. And I say that with all humbleness. I... I have always tried to be, stay positive through the last few years, since July 25th, 2020. And I could not, would not, and have not been able to do that without the love and support of my family and my friends and my, my husband. Next week, uh, we're sitting down with a uh, former politician, and we had a, an amazing conversation. I don't remember it, and it was filmed this week, as of this recording. As I was going through and listening to it again, because that's what you have to do when you try to edit, I don't remember it. So, I, I say this to my listeners, to my fans, to my uh, loved ones. Bear with me. Bear with me as we head into the unknown of what the next few months and years holds for me. And bear with me as I continue to grasp the severity of what is about to happen to me. I could not have asked for a better life I could not have asked for a better community to be in. We live in such a somber time in this world with the rise of COVID, the rise of monkeypox, the the polarization that we have seen. And I'm just one show trying to make a difference. And I hope that the difference is being felt. I often, I often end these shows with the same statement, the same line, the same recap. And I say get out from behind social media and go have a conversation. As we head into the summer, as we head into summer 2022... I'm going to make that a little bit more of a challenge. Go have a conversation with somebody you don't agree with. You would be surprised at how much common, how much in common you have with the person that you disagree with than how much you have in disagreement. I can't take life for granted anymore every day is one day closer every day is a day that I won't get back and no one else does either so if you haven't already go talk to somebody talk to someone that you just don't agree with talk to someone who you vehemently vehemently disagree with and have a conversation with them put down the cell phone stop tweeting at people like it's a natural conversation it's not and go talk to someone like you actually care about people today we we are a society that is drifting further and further apart 
over and over again, we are becoming a more divided country, a more divided province, more divided city than we have ever. Just go have a conversation with somebody. Go talk to someone like, like they were your family. I may not agree with 100% of everything that my guests have come on and talked about. I will be the first to admit that. But if we do not talk to the other side, if we do not talk to the people who are opposed to your beliefs, then are we any better as a society for not? No. You, you, you may say, Chris, you're stupid for even saying this. Uh, we can't let, we can't elevate the voices of the other side. Why not? They think you're wrong. What makes you so high and superior that you don't get to be challenged on your beliefs, on your views, on your opinions? I'm happy to have a, a debate with anyone. I may not be the smartest person in the room when I debate, but at least I'm willing to have a conversation with somebody. Can you say that? Why, why in 2022... Are we so grounded on which side of the political spectrum we lie on? We, we need to do better. Think about our children. In a hundred years from now, when our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren are sitting around watching, looking, researching about us, they will see the vile, the vitriol, the hate that we have spewed online, whether it be in the guise of a unknown Twitter handle or a Facebook post, it's easy to track back to you. So stop it. I know this has gotten off on the... This has gotten off on a tangent, and I do apologize for that. But I, 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 I want us to be a better people. It's not that hard. We, we live on this earth for such a finite time. Why do we have to be filled with hate? Why do we have to be filled with so much anger? towards people we have never met online. I cherish every day that I'm on this earth. Whether it be short or long, I'm here for a good time. And for me, the good times start with this show. So it may not be 400 more episodes. It may not be 20 more episodes. It may not be 1,000 more episodes. But until my body shuts down completely, I am going to enjoy these conversations. I'm going to enjoy the hate that I get. I'm going to enjoy, enjoy the emails that the show gets on a regular basis about having a certain guest on. And I'm going to enjoy just having a conversation again. We live in a society where we are so afraid to have a conversation. It begs the question, are we actually more afraid of the conversation or are we afraid of our opinion changing? So I, I, I do, did not want this to be a lecture. So please, if you think this is coming off as a lecture, send us a message. Send us a message and we will happily... Read it, talk about it, change our ways if we have to. Because I want people to learn something and take something away from these shows. My 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 wish for four hundred more episodes is just a wish. But I can tell you, if I'm here at episode 800, I will make it the best 800 episodes that I can possibly do. 
and leaving a legacy of people talking to each other once again. If that is what I have to do, then that is what I have to do. I am hopeful, wishful that the next three, 400 episodes, 200 episodes, 10 episodes make a difference. Not only to myself, not only to my guests, but to you, the listeners, to you, the viewers. So, I promised I wasn't going to cry. I've almost cried about four or five times throughout this episode, <laughs> throughout this chat. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm moving forward. We are off on July 1st, so if you're looking forward to a new episode tomorrow, please expect not to get one. We will be back on July 4th with a new episode, but also our live show later on in the evening with Due West. So tune into that because it's going to be fun. Uh, uh, we're just going to talk about the structure of the show and where we're going forward and the autonomy versus separate uh, autonomy versus segre- uh, uh uh, autonomy versus separation in episode two of Due West. So please tune in for that. So, with that, 400 episodes. I started this show in this room over in that corner. You can't see it because we're not there. But 400 episodes, I started the show with talking to my husband. I wasn't going to cry. <sighs> Hope and optimism is all you can have in this world. Love, support is something you strive for. I have hope, I have optimism that this show will continue on even after I'm gone. <sighs> I have been surrounded by love and support so much over the last 400 episodes. Four years, three years. I could not have asked for a better community to rally around. I could not have asked for a better community to stand shoulder to shoulder with. We are... We are so honored that you have tuned in to this episode to the last 399 episodes. I know this may be a co- incoherent mess that I've released today, but I want you to know I love you. I love my fans. I love my followers. I love my listeners. I love my family, my friends. I will forever be grateful for everything you've done for me over the last few years. I look forward to bringing you great shows. And I look forward to talking. Until that faithful day. I will be Chris Brown. This will be the cross-border interviews with Chris Brown. Have yourself an excellent day, everyone. And remember, get out from behind the social media and go have a conversation. It helps our democracy grow. Talk to you later, everyone. Thank you.